Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jake Earp. Today we're going to do another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 16. We're going to be using motion tracking for our titles using Fusion. All right, let's check it out. Bah! All right, we're rolling. We're rolling. All right, welcome back. Here we go. Let's jump on in. DaVinci Resolve 16 here. And this is what we're going to be trying to accomplish today is motion tracking some text so that it looks like it's part of the scene. We were just out at the beach, uh, I believe this was uh, two days ago, as Hurricane Dorian was coming through. Everyone was out here surfing, so took the time to get out and grab some footage. And as you'll see, the Surfing Hurricane Dorian title here looks as if it's part of the scene. Kind of revealed itself with the shot and moves along with the shot. It's not, it's not just static. It's pretty easy to accomplish. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So we'll just delete this fusion clip here. And I already have the same clip over here, color graded. What you want to do is choose the clip you want to use. Go ahead and already color grade it so that it's ready. And once you have it in your timeline, just go ahead and right click it. New fusion clip. Once that's a fusion clip like that, we can go ahead and go into the fusion tab down here. As you'll see, we have our media out. Just, I always like to open this up here. And our media in. So, we can drag this down, make it larger. What we want to do is have it so that the text reveals itself just as the, the camera pops up. In order to do that, we need to use a tracker. So with the media one selected, if you hold shift and spacebar you can go into tracker and here we're just going to use a normal tracker we don't need a planar tracker click add there and then what you'll get is this this little tracker box here and if you grab the corner it allows you to move it so we could track this guy if we wanted but normally you want to choose something that's in the entire the entire clip if, if you want to track it for the the duration so here you'll notice these channel markers are in the clip for the entire duration of it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to track that because that'll give us a good anchor point for our title. So let's grab this little corner of the box here. And I'm actually going to put it right on this. Whichever one's more contrasty, um, doesn't really matter. They're both pretty contrasty. This red one really seems to be contrasty. So let's go ahead and grab it there. If you grab the opposite corner, it allows you to shrink it. And as you'll notice over here, if you keep an eye over here as I adjust this box, it's kind of showing you exactly what's in that box. So I want to make it so it's just that sign. You can also turn on colors so you can see what you're tracking. Hold command, use your scroll wheel on the magic mouse, just drag your finger to zoom in. And then we're going to put it right on this channel marker right there. Perfect. Zoom out, command, scroll wheel. And this dotted box is where it's going to look for this track. So it's going to look for this, where we told it to look for on this channel marker within this dotted line box. And so we don't have to, I know based on this scene that that channel marker is not gonna move very much. It's always gonna be about in this area of the frame. So usually make it about that size. We'll go back here, fit. That doesn't actually fit though. Let's see. There we go. All right. Now we have the whole frame. So once you're on, you have your place you want to track, come over here to the right hand side under your tracker. And this, this first button here will track forward from the current frame. So if you wanted to start your track at, you know, maybe say maybe here, it'll just start it here. Um, so but actually we want to start the track from just for time's sake, we're just going to do it from the beginning. So if you want to track from the beginning, the first frame, go ahead and click track forward. And that's going to track forward from the current, from the beginning of the clip. So as this is tracking, just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you made it this long, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll continue making tutorials on DaVinci Resolve 16. I had some questions about how to match the A7 III, which I'm using right now to film this to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which I usually film the intros with. 
So I'm going to have a tutorial on that coming up pretty soon on how to match the colors. So when you're using, you know, an A cam and a B cam that aren't the same, maybe it happens to be a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, that's a mouthful, and the A7 III, it'll be useful to you matching the colors in post with DaVinci Resolve 16. All right, so this is just about done tracking. All right, and our track is complete. Go ahead and hit OK. So what we want to do now is we want to add a title and we want it to follow this track. Now, in order to do that, just go ahead and grab your text plus node right off there and just drag it here. You could also use shift space and type text. So when we have our text title here, go ahead and put it in the viewer so we can see what we're typing. And we want to say surfing hurricane Dorian. That's what's going on here. Now you'll notice if we link it to the tracker here and drag our media to, you'll notice that there's, there's no title. Well, that's because currently this tracker needs to be set to short to, uh, excuse me, to show it to match the move. In order to do that, go up here to the top under your tracker, this second little button here under operation and you want it to choose match move. So now, You'll notice when we come back into the timeline here, this is going to move with the video. So you could put it anywhere you want and it's going to move with the video. You can see how it's kind of tracking along here. But what we want to do is have it so that it's just above the, the horizon here. Maybe we'll bring the size down a little bit. And we'll choose a new choose. Uh, let's try moonlighting. Yeah, we'll use that one. That one looks pretty cool. Now you'll see, now that we've placed it there, as the camera comes out of, or before it does that reveal and pans up, you'll see that the title's not there. And then as you play through, it reveals itself and it holds its position in relation to your tracking point, which happens to be this channel marker out here. So it's holding that position as the camera actually pushes in and pans up. And that's basically it. I mean, it, it's super easy to achieve. And as long as you remember to change your tracker over to match move and foreground over background, sometimes that'll get mixed up. So you want to make sure that the foreground is over the background so that it shows your track. And it's easy as that, so you have it connected to your media out. You can go ahead and head back over to your edit page. Once you're in your edit page, you'll see here that it just comes right along into the edit page. And as the camera pans up, there's the title tracking there. Super simple, super easy, kind of gives your video that extra little something instead of just having the the title just kind of static there kind of having it move with the camera move makes a lot of sense looks really good just let this render out all right all right all right all right once we're rendered out here let's check it out damn the guy was crushing it surfing hurricane dorian and it's as simple as that guys Super easy effect, can be done in a matter of minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Or if you didn't like it, thumbs down button works too, I suppose. Again, thank you. Signing off.